to build in some water. For who knows why, but you might want to build in some water or something for like down there. What you want to do first is you want to build up your like whole entire level at least like a little bit because for me I don't know why it won't go the water won't go down but see it spawns all the way up here and who knows why but that's just what it does if you can figure out how to work it around that then be my guest because that would be great and there we go see people would want to use water but they wouldn't be able to use it how they would want to I don't know why alright so if you don't like the water though use the remove water app operation and just slide it across like that just get rid of them just if you don't even like them at all say screw you guys you're going away alright good thing we did that <laughs> now about the textures the brush texture what you can use mainly is a uh, fill texture that fills up the whole entire area for where you want it to be so like how I would put it I would put like a medium grass like a light type of grass right there then an even lighter grass grass and then what you want to do is copy that over here too so get those two bam and so see see that little area right there yeah we don't want that at all so what we're gonna use is the f smudge textures operation what this does is it completely binds in together so there's none of this you don't want that ever so I recommend using a medium speed 2.5 is the s size and the default strength is 5 just smudge it in a bit so you don't go too fast don't go too slow you just know what you're doing in case if you mess up a little bit just get finish that up a little bit and good let's do the same with this one alright and we're good I'm not gonna finish that and I'm not gonna do the one down here as well cuz if you really like it and you you're gonna have to do that on your own so that's fine with me alright now for the remove or replace texture operation you for the first one you're gonna have to pick your main piece that you've got over here and then on the right you gotta pick a new like a new type of color or texture so say that this one is Belcher Dirt Light and you don't want that you want Belcher Dirt Dark all you have to do is just smudge it across just go ahead and breathe it onto the whole entire terrain whatever you want to do but I'm just showing you this so you can go ahead and get a feeling for that alright and so there's different speeds you can set at that and the bottom where it says fall off oh by the way there's different styles but where it says fall off what you can do is see if we go all the way to the bottom at one it just does a straight bam like that but if you go all the way up to the top it goes to 100 it it feeds into texture like that it doesn't just go bam you're in so that's, that's all you have to worry about for those alright the next one is remove texture all you have to do is 
the increment is how much it works around it and all that stuff but it see see how there's dirt right here mixed into the grass you don't want that just go ahead and wipe it across right there and it gets rid of it completely just like that simple there we go we got it alright next one is add texture it's practically the same thing as replace texture so there's nothing to worry about that you got it you're good um, blur textures of course it's exactly what it sounds like all you have to do just it just blurs them up a little bit makes them look a little distinct I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's starting to blur up a bit, so you can't really do anything about it. Alright, next thing is the brush road, which this is actually really good if you're going to be creating paths or say you want to like show people where to go as in paths. Yeah, no kidding. So there's road widths say that you want to create a road that's just straight you if you click it at one spot and then it brings a straight line or wherever you want to direct it to you can bring it anywhere and bring it just right there create the road and if you want to put it to the side where it would completely round off just put it over here and there you go you got a road Bam. Bam. Now I'm feeling like Emerald. Alright. <laughs> Next one, the brush height. This one is really simple to use, but this is mostly for background mountains. Um, s stuff that you don't really need, like little hills, bumps in the road, and s stuff like that. Simple stuff. So amplitude is the height of it how high it goes and all you have to do is just brush it just get it all over and who knows what you want to do uh, that's for rays lower course lower down the opposite direction uniform is to put it like even it out exactly even it out from another one like say that you want to bring it up it'll bring it completely up like that and make it a flat surface noise is well it's like a bump in the road kind of it's just like it, it like bumps up the all of the whole entire trick and if you can see that it looks like a heartbeat just going up and down boom boom boom, boom. such like that next one is smooth it just smoothens out all the turret like extra hills you made so it doesn't look all like crappy and stuff like 2D style makes them look a little bit better no jagged edge no jagged edges or anything like that alright now that we've got all that done let's move on to the next one which is units alright sorry about that open it up Whoop, I think froze. 